for those who come after. I am going to show you how to make mouse animation without expressions with only scripts in one click. Oh, let's get started. So first you'll need to download this script that I put it in the description. You're gonna need to copy it, go to your After Effects folder where you downloaded After Effects, put support files, then scripts, and script UI panels, and copy it here. Now open After Effects and go to Edit, then Preferences. Then go to script and expressions and make sure that allow scripts to write files and access network is checked. Press OK. Then go to window and uh, go down and search for the script with but click on it and it's going to show up like you can put it anywhere you want. Let's say I'm putting it here. Now I will show you how it works. First I will get uh, something to animate. If that's it like this, okay. Let's say I'm it, going to animate the scale of it from 30 on to 0, to 30 okay, We have this animation and I want to add bounce to it. So simply what I'm going to do is so I click on the solid or the layer and go here to the script. Click on layer and choose the property that you that you want to add bounce to it. Or in our case it's scale. You can add to position or scale or rotation or even opacity. In the end curve I'm going to add it to scale so check this S button and click apply. And now the bounce animation is applied to our layer. There will be effects when not roll when you hit apply. This will simply make you control your bounce like from the amplitude frequency and the decay. Like uh, amplitude is the uh, amount of the bounce that's simply how it's gonna say it and you can see the speed and dk is dk i don't know how to explain it more than that but and the settings it depends on your need you know but this is uh, most of the settings that i use like i put the amplitude between 1 to 6 and the frequency between 2 to 3 yeah the dk i just leave it on 5 or sometimes i put it 3 it depends on the animation you want to create and for the keyframes that you're going to apply the bounce to it make sure that your keyframes aren't uh, easy eased and there is no graphs on it so when you have easy eased keyframes and graph and i notice that uh, uh, bounce doesn't work well on them don't know why uh, it only works on the an easy eased keyframe and when you make your animation like the keyframes Keep the spacing between the keyframes like three frames or five maximum. It's how I put it and how it look well for me. Like, this is how I like my bones and I use it all the time like that. But yeah, you can use uh, can make it like longer, but I keep my spacing between the keyframes three frames or five frames. It still look good. And now when you want to make like another property, let us say you want to make a tail like here we made a scale animation and now i want position animation we go in going to leave a bit of a spacing between first bounce because when you overlap the bouncing it will look uh, ugly so at least leave 10 frame like between a bounce animation and another that's how i keep it so i will leave like a wait until the bounce stops and start my animation we go to the script the p hit apply and now our bounce animation here where the space in it yeah, five frame. This is it's a bounce animation of position. It, 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 okay. And yeah, and if you want to change, like, let us say, made here the settings, like you made the scale amplitude, like one, and here for the position, you want to change, like, to change it, you need to, like, cut the layer where the animation will start and change it. This is how I change it, or you can, like, uh, like, let us say, now you want to change, like, to use another settings for next bounce you want to make like for the position you can cut it as i showed or recomp your layer and then copy it i'm going to copy and hit apply here and you can use the different settings from here because it's pre-composed here so yeah when you pre-compose your layer you can use a different settings for it so now we have like for the scale uh, specific settings for it and for the position we also have a specific settings for it this is how I do it most of And as I said, keep the space in between the keyframes like 3 to 5 frames max. And also you can uh, make sure like to add motion blur. Yeah, with motion blur they will look much better. It looks so smooth animation. But I use uh, motion blur in the end like, like if I'm making an edit or I want to make some animation. Like I make sure to not use the motion blur until the end because the motion blur will, will make the PC run slower. Yeah, you don't need that motion blur while it is. So yeah, just activate it at the end when you finish all your animations and you're going to render. Activate your motion. 
There is another property, as I said, there is a rotation T, uh, T which is opacity, and there is anchor point. They all work the same way I showed. You can use it and discover the script yourself. Yeah, this is the basics that I wanted to talk about and the points that I had to talk about. And I guess, yeah, this is all about the script. I just wanted to show it because it sounds useful to me. If you're facing any problem in After Effects or editing, just tell me in the comments. I'll try to help you. And yeah, thanks for watching. Suggest me a tutorial if you want to know what to do more with this channel. I'll keep posting tutorials for those who come after. Right?